since that we're getting close to the end of Cartoon Week, which, yes, is a generic name, obviously, but at the same time, that's the best I can come up with, especially since I'm gonna be doing these gimmicks once in a while when it comes to the cartoons and other stuff that I reveal. My point is, is that when it comes to Adventure Time episodes involving Simon and Marcy and the fact that I didn't watch this episode because I immediately give up on watching the show, I have to agree that I mostly regret it, but at the same time, I can't easily help myself on my perspective of what I've seen from Adventure Time back when I was a teenager. If you couldn't tell, Marceline tells the story to Finn and Jake about her relationship with Simon, aka the Ice Cream, nearly a thousand years when they were playing a game of basketball. I can tell that watching this episode in preparation for this review really shows that Adventure Time really had a lot going, and I'm gonna say this right now that I did watch this episode once I got back into Adventure Time back in 2015. 2015, and I'm on the ball on people saying that this is one of the best episodes from, from Adventure Time, and I'm not Paul, and I'm not messing with you. I'm being serious. I remembered back in October of 2012 when I watched. I remember you when I was watching Adventure Time episodes weekly on Cartoon Network, and I have to admit, I really enjoyed that episode. It was an episode. I wasn't looking, I wasn't watching from my old perspective from the show, but at the same time we have teenage perspectives that haven't aged well most of the time. I'm gonna say right now that even if, was, even if I try to watch all the episodes from the recent Adventure Time episodes, I can tell that watching this episode is really worth it than the other episodes that I was really looking forward to. After the mysterious Mushroom War, we get to see Simon taking care of Marcy while they bond together, even after everything that's been happening. I can really tell that the development involving Marceline and Ice King is really one of the small things that got me infested while I was watching the show when I was a teenager. I just really didn't have a lot of knowledge of this, and if I actually made my YouTube channel in 2012 and I reviewed this episode along with the other episodes, I would probably get a really negative response. But then again, we've all went through this before where we didn't know much about cartoons and the more we get older, the more we learn from our mistakes. I know you're mostly confused, but at the same time, we all went through our own separate ways. Even if this episode is getting close to 8 years old as we reach into March of this year, I really think that what this episode had back in 2013 is what really made Adventure Time reach to its peak, as in completely becoming way more better than before when it comes to some fans. But then when we see more of Season 5 onwards, it started to become a slight downfall, and yes, I actually am surprised that I'm not the only one who actually gave up on this show in Season 5. Granted, I gave up Season 5 way too early, but at the same time, considering that there were other fans that gave up on the show during the 5th season, really sums up onto everything that not every cartoon perfect in their reputation. Getting back to this episode, the bond between Simon and Marcy really makes this make this a perfect continuation compared after I remember you. Well, we get to see that Simon is just trying his best to take care of Marcy while Marcy is just trying to get to be occupied from Simon. And the fact that there's a serious war that just ended really shows how much that these characters have lived history in the past and the fact that these characters can live on for so longer than necessary compared to humans like Finn really makes you appreciate of how the world building of Adventure Time is a great place to live in even though it's also a very unstable place to live in. As this episode continues, I can really relate to Simon, also known as Ice Ken, a lot more compared to what I did in the past. 
granted, I had less knowledge of a perspective from this show back then, but that, but right now, even though that I reviewed The Red Throne two months ago, I was way too judgmental in the fact that there was so much I need to understand when it comes to of how Adventure Time was one of the best cartoons from Cartoon Network. And just seeing this episode more and more, it never ever gets old. No matter what you feel about this episode. It just gets better and better even after the show came to an end. Because you can actually see of what this show actually improved more and more by the time this episode aired in March of 2013. I'm truly convinced that all the mistakes that I did in the past on not completely watching this show completely and look at the other qualities really shows that Adventure Time Wilds actually knew what they were doing, even though that some of the Wilds end up doing their own projects, which is probably why this show got less interesting as the show continued. But at the same time, without this show, we will probably not get a better decade involving great cartoons that came out in Cartoon Network and partially in Nickelodeon and Disney Channel. Anyway, one of the goals that Simon has for Marcy is to have him drink chicken soup in order to keep her illness away, which is one of the main goals that he has involving taking care of Marceline. However, Marceline wants to make sure that Simon doesn't wear the ice crown, otherwise he will completely lose control, which really sums up onto why in the episode in I Remember You, Marceline had a hard time remembering Simon when he was wearing his crown as the Ice King. And I can honestly tell that after watching that episode and this episode, it really sums up onto everything onto why the Ice King became a major character in Eventual Time. When it comes to Ice King in the earlier seasons involving seasons 1 through seasons 3, and partially for while well, before I remember you, I found his character really over the top and one of those characters who desperately wants to marry pr the princess in order to get what he wants, but at the end of the day, he doesn't get it. And uh, considering that well, his relationship with Princess Bubblegum has improved in the later seasons, I really think they really know how to actually have some use ends involving the Ice King's purpose with with the other characters. It really gives this show some kind of a good development that these other characters get some kind of development, while some character arcs, even though that I did not watch most of the episodes from this show while while we watching them, I can tell that they come down much more better, but at the same time, they probably put the focus on other characters in order to make those arcs really enjoyable and really memorable when it comes to Adventure Time. One of the situations that Simon and Marcy get themselves into is they encountered mutant hordes, which if they completely touch them, they would turn into them as well. And believe me, the Mushroom War, even if I don't remember much of it and completely forget what it's truly about, I can tell that it's a really serious war that can easily traumatize Marceline since that she was a child back then and she had dealt with trauma ever since. And if she ever had the choice in order to be by herself without being with Simon most of the time or all the time, she would still be in the same situation as before, except even worse. When the crisis got disastrously worse, Simon takes, puts Marcy inside a car and uses the Ice Crown to use the powers in order to stop the mutant hordes from causing more havoc. And while the while he sings a song involving Cheers, or Cheers in general, and this really shows that this episode has a really great place in so many Adventure Time fans' hearts. Of how they can put, of how they really made Ice King really redeemable when he was Simon. And believe me when I say this is that I can easily rewatch this bit over and over again and actually try to enjoy what this episode was back in 2013, despite the fact that I watched this episode two years later. 
if there's one thing that really makes Avenger Time really memorable is mostly the relationships. And considering that we don't get to see much relationship development from other characters, pairing with other characters, I honestly can tell that my perspective back then was really low-key to the point that I really need to actually think a lot more better. But again, we can't change the past, obviously. So, Simon and Marcy, I can say that it's one of the best episodes from Vetra Time. And again, I'm being serious. I can tell you for a fact that I've watched this show less and less, but the more I think about it years later, I really had to look at the positives that can sometimes overweigh the negatives. Even though the negatives can sometimes overshadow the positives, which... I had that feeling once I was watching more of Season 3 towards the beginning of Season 5. But again, I'm keeping those personal information to me because I can just tell you right now that I really had a drastic time into actually enjoying the show like the other fans did back in the day. But at the same time, we're just going to have to deal with our past in order to move on in order to improve our mistakes. My point is, is that Simon and Marcy is an episode that actually proved me that there's so much more instead of what I actually enjoyed from Adventure Time back during my teenage times. If any of you guys are going to be making requests of me on, what, on doing reviews of other Adventure Time episodes, I might keep that in mind. I won't do those requests way too early because again, I'm making these videos ahead of time. But once I make those request reviews come true, I will try my best to actually give my perspective of each episode that you requested me to review. Because there was just some t there was just so much information that I want to keep my uh, that I want to keep a secret. But sometimes, once the timing is right, I'll completely expose them to you guys so you can understand where I'm coming from. Anyway, I give Simon and Marcy a 9.5 out of 10. So anyway, there's only one more video to culminate Cartoon Week, and you obviously know what that is. I'm just letting you know though that one of the wires who wrote this episode is the ones that made the two finales of a very popular Cartoon Network show that I'm going to be talking about for the third time on my YouTube channel.